This video will guide you through the installation of InMail Voicemail on the SL2100 communication system, including configuration with PC Pro and examples of user operation. Further information can be found in the InMail Quick Install Guide. The SL2100 has a built-in InMail Voicemail system which provides mailbox functionality for users and groups. InMail mailboxes can also be used for automated attendant by assigning dialing options. InMail has four voice channels. This can be expanded to 16 by adding the EXIFB card. The CPU C1 card does not have built in InMail available. An SD card can be installed to provide InMail. The CPU C1A card has built in InMail with two hours of recording storage available. An SD card can also be added to increase storage. By adding the SD VMS card to either the CPU C1 or CPU C1A, InMail has 15 hours of storage. By adding the SD VML card, InMail has 120 hours of storage. English language prompts are built in with the CPU C1A card. Use Web Pro to swap the built in English prompts to one of the 15 languages that are available from the software download area of BusinessNet. By adding the SD VMS or SD VML card to either the CPU C1 or CPU C1A, users can select from one of the 26 languages available. There are 128 user mailboxes, plus 32 group mailboxes, plus 32 auto attendant routing tables available. Voicemail to email notification is available by adding the optional system license. Users can record their conversations into their mailbox. The system can be set up to record calls manually by pressing the programmable function key at the terminal or automatically per trunk or extension. If using an SD card, then install it into the CPU card. Ensure the SL21 is powered off before removing the CPU card. Ensure the SD card is as shown. Push in the SD card until it clicks. If the SD VMS or SD VML card is installed and the built-in InMail or VRS system has already been used, then all greetings and messages are copied to the new VRS or voicemail storage space. Ensure the SL2100 is powered off before inserting the CPU card. For a new installation, cold start the SL2100 system and the InMail will automatically be configured as shown. If you are installing a new SL2100 system and using the PC Pro initial setup wizard, then the InMail will be configured according to your selected numbering plan. Select Easy Edit, Quick Install, Voicemail, VM Basic Setup to see an overview of user mailboxes. View the extension pane to show all extensions. The mailbox extension number will be assigned to the equivalent extension number. There are 128 user mailboxes available. Select the mailbox type. Personal for a user mailbox, group if you want to send messages to the extension's department group mailbox, or none to deactivate the mailbox. The mailbox extension is the user's extension number that this mailbox is assigned to. Message count is the maximum quantity of recorded messages. The maximum is 99. Automated attendant directed to voicemail will permanently forward the user's calls to voicemail. Automatic timestamp will announce the time and date that the message was recorded. System administrator options should be enabled for one or more users. Dialing option allows single-digit dialing options during the mailbox greeting. The dialing options are defined within the Next Call Routing mailbox. The Next Call Routing mailbox defines the routing mailbox number to be used when dialing options is enabled. There are 32 routing mailboxes available. Select the prompt language. The languages available will depend on the built-in language or if the SD card is installed. The security code option defines when the mailbox security code is required. You will always require the security code for both internal and external access. Remote logon only will only need it for external access to the mailbox. 
For automated attendant, use a group mailbox that has dialing options assigned. Within PC Pro, select Easy Edit, Quick Install, Extensions, Department Group Properties to assign the pilot number that will be used for the group mailbox number. Use a spare department group. Select Easy Edit, Quick Install, Voicemail, VM Group Setup. Assign the department group pilot number to a group mailbox. Set the mailbox type to routing when used for auto attendant. Select the routing mailbox number. This will later define the dial action table. This is also the routing mailbox number that will have the auto attendant greeting recorded. Select Easy Edit, VM Call Routing. For the routing mailbox you selected, set the mailbox type to Instruction Menu. Select the Dial Action Table that will define the dialing options. Select Easy Edit, DAT, Dial Action Tables. For the Dial Action Table you selected, define the action and destination for each dial digit received from the incoming caller. Select Undefined for any digits that you do not want to route. Screened or unscreened transfer to send the call to the defined destination number. Record a message into the destination mailbox with or without playing the mailbox greeting. Log on to the mailbox defined by the destination number. Users should set up a security code to prevent unauthorized access if this option is allowed. Hang up the call. Go to another mailbox number defined by the destination number. The destination number can be a specified number or X for a wildcard. Use I to ignore a digit dialed by the incoming caller. Press F1 for PC Pro Help. Use the DDI routing table to route a DDI number directly to the group mailbox number that's used for auto attendant. Within PC Pro, select Easy Edit, Quick Install, DDI, DDI Routing. You can define the target mailbox number by inserting the at symbol followed by the mailbox number. View the DDI pane to show the day and night overview of all DDIs. DDIs may have different routing for each night mode. Selecting the DDI will show the DDI translation table number used within the properties pane. Within target 1, you can add the at symbol followed by the target mailbox number. To route the call to InMail, enter 102 within targets 2 or 3. 102 is a unique code to define InMail as the target. The at symbol can be appended to an existing entry to define the target mailbox number. In this example, during day mode, the main DDI will go to the automated attendant group mailbox. Extension DDIs will go to the user's personal mailboxes. The sales DDI will go to a sales mailbox 300. During night mode, all DDIs will go to a night mailbox 301 to take a message. Use the analog trunk routing table to route each trunk to the answer schedule table that will define the group mailbox number that's used for an auto attendant. Within PC Pro Easy Edit, Quick Install, Analog Trunks, Analog Trunk Target 1 or Target 2, you can route to voicemail by entering 102 as the target. There are targets for each night mode. Within Voicemail, Analog Answer Table Assignment, select the answer table 1 to 32 that will be used for each analog trunk. This answer table will be used for all night modes where the trunk is routed to voicemail. Within Voicemail, Analog 102 Routing, enable Answer Schedule Override for the answer table used. This will override any answer table schedules that may be set up within InMail. 
Select Group Mailbox for the override mailbox type and define the group mailbox number. The mailbox number is the group mailbox number 1 to 32 that you assigned within Group Mailbox for Auto Attendant. Users can access voicemail in several ways, soft key, service code, voicemail function key, or by dialing the voicemail pilot number. The soft key, the soft is, available key is available on type, on type B, B or IP, or IP terminals, terminals and, and does, does not require any, any configuration. configuration. The service code is defined within PC Pro Easy Edit Quick Install System Service Codes 3 Digit Codes. Voicemail function keys are set up within Quick Install, Extensions, Function Key Template. Select the extension, then select Feature Code 77 for in-mail voicemail access and choose the mailbox user and click the function key. The voicemail pilot number is defined for the department group used for the in-mail ports. In-mail ports are 113 to 128. The department group is assigned in extension properties. The pilot number is defined in department group properties. Administrator mailboxes have several functions, including deleting all messages within a mailbox, deleting a mailbox security code, and recording auto-attendant mailbox greetings. Administrator access is assigned to any of the personal mailboxes in VM Basic Setup. Voicemail to email notification is available by adding the optional system license. New messages will be sent as an email attachment in WAV format. Email notification requires setup within PC Pro Easy Edit. Select Voicemail, InMail, InMail Email Integration, InMail SMTP Setup. Enable SMTP. Enter the SMTP server name and port. Enable encryption if required by the SMTP server. Enter the username and password if authentication is enabled. Enter a reply to email address. Enter the DNSIP address. Toll restriction should be applied to all 16 voicemail channels to prevent fraudulent calls made by incoming callers to the voicemail system. Within PC Pro Quick Install Extensions Toll Restriction, place all voicemail channels into a unique class for all night modes. In-mail channels are in the range of 113 to 128. Within the Restriction class, apply a restriction table. Class 6 is set up by the initial setup wizard to use Restriction Table 4. To restrict all calls, enter the at symbol. This is a wildcard character. If users require message notification, then ensure you do not restrict their notification numbers. These could be added within the permitted table. Test your toll restriction within PC Pro. Restricted numbers are highlighted red. You should ensure that InMail is set up correctly to prevent malicious access. Follow these simple steps. Set up toll restriction or disable outgoing trunk access for the voicemail ports to block outgoing calls. If you've enabled remote logon to users' mailboxes, then ensure all users set up a mailbox security code. If users enable message notification within their mailbox, then ensure they also set up a mailbox security code. Consider using the SL2100 onboard applications in reports to monitor call activity or in guard to prevent toll fraud. 
Users can access the SL2100 web interface to upload and download messages and greetings for the in-mail voicemail system. User mailbox and auto-attendant messages and greetings are available. The uploaded file must be in this format. Browse to the IP address of the SL2100. To access a user's mailbox, enter their extension number as the username and enter the password. Default is 1111 and click Login. Select page 8 for messages. The messages are available to download or delete. Select page 9 for greetings. To upload a pre-recorded greeting, select the greeting number. Each user can have up to three greetings. Greeting 7 is used for the Park and Page feature. Browse to the file and click Upload. To access the auto attendant ring mailbox, enter user1 as the username and enter the password. Default is 1111 and click Login. Click the VRS icon and select InMail Audio Upload Download Routing and Greeting from the menu. There are 32 routing mailboxes. Enter the mailbox number, browse to the file and click Upload. Press the VM soft key to access your own mailbox. The new message count is shown on the display. Dial the voicemail access service code to access your own mailbox. Press the function key for mailbox access. You can have multiple keys for different mailboxes. The key will also flash to show new messages within the mailbox. Dial the voicemail pilot number to access the voicemail main menu. Enter the mailbox number you wish to access. Each mailbox can have a four-digit security code set up by the user within their mailbox. The security code cannot be set up or viewed by PC Pro or Web Pro. The system administrator can delete the mailbox security code. To set up, change or delete your security code options, access your mailbox, then press soft key Setup or dial 67 to access the setup menu. Press soft key Code or dial 7 to access the security code menu. Enter the new four digit security code. Press soft key Rec or dial 7 if you require to enter the code for internal or remote logon. Press soft key no rec or dial 6 if you only require to enter the code for remote logon. Administrator access is assigned to selected user mailboxes. Access the user mailbox as normal, then either press the manager soft key or dial option code 7 2 to enter administration mode. The administrator option codes will be announced or use the soft keys to navigate. The common administrator features are shown. Select the soft key or dial 4 to record the instruction menu greeting. Enter the routing mailbox number 1 to 32. Only mailboxes set as instruction menu type will be available. Choose the soft key for listen, record, delete or follow the voice prompts. Users can forward their calls to their personal mailbox by either using a call forward service code using the programmable function key setup as call forward to the voicemail pilot number or selecting call forward to voicemail from the navigation menu.
Users can record their calls into their personal mailbox by pressing the Conversation Record function key during a call. Recording will stop when the call ends or the user can press the key to stop recording. Conversation recording can also be set to automatically record all calls. See the InMail Quick Install Guide for details. Recordings are saved as new messages. The maximum duration is set by the message recording duration, which is set to 2 minutes by default. Thank you for watching. We hope this video has been helpful for installing and configuring InMail's voicemail on the SL2100 system. There are other quick installation videos available on our YouTube channel. Orchestrating a Brighter World NEC